Good morning guys, it is a chilly morning here in Tokyo and I am currently in Shibuya. Now, I've been told by a friend that there is a glasses store here called Jin's and apparently at this glasses store, you can get a pair of glasses made for half the price that it would cost you to get them made back in Australia. And also, apparently they can do them in a week. Now, I got these glasses here at a place called OPSM in Australia. They cost me about $200 or maybe $250 and it took one month for them to be made. So I'm in Japan for a couple of weeks, so if I go get some glasses done today, then hopefully they'll be ready in a week's time. I'm hoping to get something somewhat similar to the ones that I'm wearing, but uh, I'm basically just getting them as a backup pair because I was thinking to myself, if I dropped these glasses or if I lost them or if I stepped on them, I would have no way to get around Tokyo because I wouldn't be able to see because these are my only glasses. So I figure if I can get some cheap ones made here while I'm in Tokyo, why not? So this place, uh, Jin's, there's a lot of different glasses stores in Japan. Uh, there's Zoff, uh, there's um, Megane Super, there's Jin's, there's a whole bunch of them. But I'm trying this one because I know someone that's been there before and they said that they have a really good selection. This is only a five minute walk from Shibuya Station, so it's basically just along the main street. You go past Shibuya 109. Oh, I'm getting out of breath, I'm talking too much. And by the way, yeah, you might not recognize me in all of this. I've turned into Gudetama the Lazy Egg because it is so cold. I just, I have to rug up every square inch of my body, so. I love all the random music all over Tokyo. <laughs> okay, see you in the store. your face in the circle. Is it gonna pick some glasses for me? What, what has it done? Has the government just stolen my identity? Oh, error. Oh, well, it can't tell, it. oh, it's look, it says man and woman, and it says error. I guess, look, I could be anything right now. I could be good at Hama. So I'm faced with the dilemma of these are 120,000 yen, but I really, really like them. And these are only 5,000 yen. And I think they're a little bit too big for my face, but that's a huge amount of money to save. Like they're over twice the price. And I do still like the pink ones. The pink ones are cute, but they're also 120,000 yen. So I think, I'm thinking I'll go with these. Like they're cheap and I'm also really happy with the glasses I have. So these will just be a good backup pair. Okay guys, craziest thing just happened. So uh, I went to pay for the glasses. They only cost 10,000 yen, which is 100 US dollars, which is 130 Australian dollars. They would have been a lot cheaper than that, but I opted for the blue light filter, which added an extra 5,000 yen. There were three different types of blue light filter. There was like the, the lowest level, the medium and the highest. The lowest one is for everyday use. The medium one was for heavy use of the computer. And the darkest color was for like nighttime use on the computer. I just opted for the standard one because I didn't want it to change the color of the lenses. But anyway, so that added 5,000 yen. So if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't gone for the, the blue light filter, it would have only cost 5,000 yen for a brand new pair of glasses. Now the crazy thing was, here was me expecting that I would have to come back in one week and he said to me, he handed me a little receipt and he said, come back in 30 minutes. Nani? 30 minutes, Th three zero. San ju pun des, desu. Honto desu ka? Hai, honto desu. Isn't that insane? I can't believe it. So I just have to kill time for 30 minutes, come back and I will have my brand new glasses. Can't believe it, I'm so excited. 
also, interestingly enough, they put me in this funny machine to test my eyesight. I've never seen that before. I literally looked in it, and as I'm sitting there looking, it's doing a reading of my eyes. And you know how normally they give you different lenses and they go, is it, you know, A or B, which is better? A or B, clearer, less clear, clearer, less clear, and all that sort of thing, and it goes on and on and on. They just sat me in this machine and it just, it just, it just figured out what my prescription was and it printed it out and it was exactly the same as the prescription that I have back home. I don't know what Japanese witchcraft that is, but I was very, very impressed. I'll be back in 30 minutes with my brand new glasses and I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, and I've just picked them up. That was exactly 30 minutes and I'm wearing them and they are wonderful. They're actually a little bit more crisp than the glasses I was wearing. Maybe because I've beaten those up a little bit. I've bumped them and scratched them and they were not so clean. So these ones are absolutely perfect. Uh, I actually, I don't know if they suit me better than the others necessarily, but I do, I really, really like them. I like the style. Obviously they're much more round than my old ones and they're also bigger, but I don't mind how big they are because it means that I've got a really good feel of vision. Uh, there's no frame sort of obscuring my vision or anything. I'm so happy. I can't believe that that was a 30 minute turnaround. A hundred dollars later. It would have been $50 later if I hadn't gone for the blue light filter. So that's it guys. That is my, I guess you could say review of Jin's glasses. I'm really happy. I'm very impressed. I would definitely go back there again. There weren't a huge amount of uh, styles that I was very interested in though. That's the only thing. I was only interested in the round ones. But if you have a different taste in glasses to what I have, I reckon that you'd have a lot of luck finding glasses that you like. So the, the one week turnaround thing is apparently multifocals. The other thing I forgot to mention was that uh, I got these tax free. So if you take your passport with you at the time, they'll stamp your passport and then you get a discount. I think it's about 10%. So that's why I got them for uh, 10,000 yen. But if you don't have your passport with you, you might end up paying a bit more. I was toying between these and a couple of different styles, but these were the cheapest and I'm really happy. So I could have paid 100 and could have paid 12,000 yen for a different style, but I decided to go with these because these are equally as nice and they were half the price of the others. So if you're coming to Japan and you're in need of a new pair of glasses, you can bring your prescription with you. Otherwise you can just sit in their fancy machine and it'll just figure it out for you. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.